glad you stopped by. I have this amazing story. At least I think it's amazing, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you will too. And this is something that I have firmly believed my whole life, and that's that the universe is always sending us these amazing signs. And sometimes we even think those signs are there to even hurt us, but every single sign the universe sends us is for a really, really, really good reason. And sometimes, even in those moments where we think that it's, it's not good for us, it's meant to actually take us from the direction that we're going in and put us in a different direction. And I think that is something that we really, really, really need to pay attention to. So I'm here to tell this story so that I, I'm just basically hoping that you walk away and understand that the universe sends us signs all the time. And I think we need to start really embracing it and understanding that the universe really does have our back. So in April, I decided to go to the GPM Summit in Los Angeles. Now, when I was first told about this, I was a little leery and not because I didn't feel there was going to be benefit in it, but more because I thought, oh, okay, I have to go by myself. Um, not as brave as I used to be. I used to travel all over by myself and loved it, but I haven't done it in a while. And also the fact that I was going to a summit where I knew people would be way ahead of me in business, but I also wanted to be surrounded by people like that and also I knew there was going to be some amazing speakers there that were going to pretty much change how I think about myself and my business. So I kind of bit the bullet. Um, I spent the money. Now, if you are a Canadian, fellow Canadian like myself, you know that when you go to the US and you're spending money on courses and hotels and flights, it is a lot more money in Canada than it is in the US. So for me as a new business owner, I had to really um, think about it, but at the same time, I knew this was gonna benefit, benefit me. So I signed up, bought myself a, a ticket, uh, and went. So when I first got there, I decided that I was going to go for a walk, go to the grocery store. Now being a health coach, of course, I have to go and get some healthy food, stock up a little bit, right? So I have those options, something that I tell my clients all the time. But as well, I just wanted to kind of get out and walk around. It was so beautiful there compared to here in Canada at the time. When I got to the grocery store, I went in, did my thing, came out, and there was this homeless man outside who was just so happy and he was singing and he was dancing around and he said, good morning, lady, and of course I said good morning back, but then he said, I want to wish you a rainbow day. And of course you're thinking, hmm, that's something no one's ever said to me before. I don't know about you guys, but no one's ever said that to me before. And I was already in a really good mood because I'm in this beautiful weather. I'm in Los, or I was actually in Santa Monica, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I was so looking forward to the summit that was coming up in a couple days. So I asked him, I said, what do you mean by have a rainbow day? So he proceeded to tell me about the story uh, in the Bible about Noah and the rainbow, and then told me it symbolized inner awakening, peace and truth. And I just like kind of like almost made goosebumps kind of come up on my skin because that's why I was there. I was there to get out of a rut. I was there to um, better myself and my business. And I needed to start stepping into my truth because I know there's a lot of things that I was, you know, that I was doing to myself that was holding me back from my greatness. So I was just in awe of this man who was so happy, you know, he had, he had nowhere to live. He had, a, you know, all this stuff in a little plastic bag, but yet he was just so kind. So I gave him some money. Um, he, which he did not ask for and then I went to walk away and I said um, I wish you a rainbow day as well and thank you and he said well why are you thanking me and I said because you just made my morning it was such a pleasure talking to you and he said you know what that's better than this money like thank you for saying that and he asked if he could have a hug so me and this man are hugging it out in the parking lot and I walked away just thinking wow that was like an incredible interaction with a human that wanted nothing from me. 
you know he didn't ask anything from me all he wanted was some conversation and to give him a bit of a bit of time out of my day and I found that very refreshing anyway walking home or back to the to the hotel should say wish that was my home um, I decided I was gonna go grab a sweatshirt um, I forgot a jacket and it gets a little cool in the evening so I thought I'm gonna go buy a sweatshirt just have it in case I need it walking around and this is on my way back from speaking with this man then as I walk into the store I walk up to this rack of sweatshirts that are all lined up nice and neat I reach in grab a sweatshirt look at it and it says rainbow wishes on it no word of a lie I like I can't even make this stuff up and I I was just like wow okay come on like the universe is sending me a huge sign right now so I knew this was going to be a great weekend that this GPM summit that was just gonna rock my world so I got even more excited now I did not buy that sweatshirt but it stayed with me then two days later we get into the summit day one which was absolutely amazing so if you're ever looking for something in the sense of wanting to not just um, find out about uh, personal branding and marketing but just overall all the aspects of being a business owner and what you need and just need some motivation and inspiration I, trust me the GPM summit is, is something to attend day two came along and Preston Smiles steps on stage. Now, I don't know if you're following him, but you should, because he's just an incredible person. Um, his Instagram is unbelievable, but in person, he's even a more unbelievable. And he said something that really hit me, like, like almost took my breath away. And I even started to cry a little bit, just because it really hit home to me. And then all of a sudden, I really noticed him and what he was wearing and I looked on his sweatshirt and it said Hawaii and then a big rainbow on it again I can't make this stuff up and at that moment I just knew I knew what I had to do I knew what it was meant for me and when I came home my whole life shifted how I thought about myself how I thought about my past how I thought about my business and what I really wanted for myself. And the universe truly sent me three signs, three signs. The first one I could have easily walked away and just whatever, but it really sat with me and I didn't even ask the universe to send me a sign. It just automatically sent it to me. But the key is, is I was open to it. I noticed it, I saw it. With Preston, I didn't see that rainbow right at first which is interesting, but as soon as he said something that really hit home to me, boom, I noticed that rainbow, and now I can't get them out of my head. It has a whole new meaning to me now. When I see a rainbow, I actually, it's been raining today, and I went outside to look for one, and I did see a slight image of a rainbow, which was absolutely amazing to me. So what I want you to do is just really understand, if you're stuck, if you're really, really stuck, now, Gabrielle uh, Bernstein talks about this all the time, and she talks about asking the universe for a sign, like, if this is meant to be, show me an owl, show me a puppy, show me whatever it is. But for me, I firmly believe we have to be also be open to seeing signs that come up. Seeing, having a rainbow put in front of me three times in a row is not a coincidence. It is the universe sending me a, a, a heavy sign and something that I really needed to pay attention to. And because of that, it has actually changed my life. So we can, our, our minds are such incredible things. And if we don't start opening our minds to the good that the universe is sending us, which sometimes may seem like it's not good, we have to keep our minds open to, to the positive intention behind everything that comes our way. And I really, really try to instill this in my clients, even though it's really, really hard sometimes. If you do step back and try to see that positive intention, things just shift for you. And that's what I try to do every single day. Even if something happens that 
you know, might have caused some sort of negative emotion, I do stop and ask myself about the t intention behind it. And usually there is a very strong one. So I hope this has inspired you to actually really keep your eyes open, your mind open to the signs the universe is sending you and understand the universe always does have your back. You just have to be open to receive it. Thank you.